Hello, 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 hello. This is Maxor and welcome back to a Let's Play series of The Division. Here we are right now, level 30, um, all base of operations 100%, all side missions, all encounters. And what the hell is this? Oh, a new one. Um, yeah. And all collectibles and everything. So today what we're going to focus in on is trying to reach the last safe house. Um, which is this one. Uh, and then probably we're going to investigate that mission over there. Oh, yeah. That was it. That was the one. Now it's open. Now we can complete the Chelsea kind of collectibles. Okay, so. Let's do this. Hope you like it. Uh, if you do so, please let me know in the comments below. Also, like the videos. And you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and also follow me on Twitter. Let's have a chat. I'll take him out. Just gotta lock this place Listen down. Talk fast. Fast. They know what's good for them. That's Fucking what they're doing. That's all right. Please comply with all requests. Now. The life I say could be your own. I'm guessing we're entering with level 30 kind of sun.
only one left. And then move. Two hundred meters to the safe house. Missing medical supplies detected. backpack where'd you get a friend who looks familiar where are you going with it up for the walls okay let's take what we need and go Charnenko, physician and virologist. I live in Novosibirsk in Russia. I will record this journal to document the events in New York City after what they call the dollar fool outbreak. I am fortunate to be in New York now as I am to speak at Sinai Hospital Medical Conference. I hope to be of some use in this crisis. I have, how does one say it, mixed feelings. One does not wish others to suffer, but for virologists it is also excellent opportunity to learn. The first does not cancel out the second. Oh, uh, I should add, English is not my best language, but <laughs> more people speak it here than Russian, so I will use it. <laughs> This is perfect, thank you. change that much. Need to be on alert. I'm 
ungrateful goddamn civilians. Can't they see we're helping? Don't push them? me, you hear? Get down! Holy shit, look at- Glad you're here. We've got a variety of issues to deal with, which I'll prioritize for you. We're gonna be focused. And the map. Hey yo, let's make a deal. Look at this selection. So let's equip our secondary. And we say we're going to take MK17 upgrades. Hey, can't beat these prices. Suicide missions. That's it, no story. Hmm. By the way. Let's do that mission first. So just to let you know, if you cannot do that Chelsea one, it opens at the end of the game. 
I was in a tie game trying to figure out what happened there. And now we know. Prodigal Sam. Normally I'd do this face to face, but I'm not 100% sure which way you'll jump. You act one way when Ms. Lau is watching, and another way entirely when you're off the leash. That's an interesting contradiction. You see, I think that deep down, you get it. You know, the old rules, laws, governments, those things died on Black Friday. But the feral PMCs, the convicts, the ones smart enough and good enough to take what they need, they'll survive. Me? I'm gonna prosper. Oh, you could too, but you took an oath, right? You got a duty. Those are both ways of saying that your conscience is fucking you. You ask yourself, who has earned a right to tell you what to do? Do you know how many agents died? all the dark zone just for the brass to give up and put a wall around it you don't believe me you should check the place out for yourself but the people you're working for they're irrelevant now amherst changed how the game is played and i have got the vision to win i got chernenko i got a dna printer and a very interesting recipe book i'm gonna write my own rules You should think about getting in on this thing. I'll be seeing you. So this is the one who released the outbreak. Agent, the information you found in that lab was the crown jewel. I think we can break this thing now. But we've got some more information. A voice from the grave. Listen to what Amherst has to say. What you're looking at is the smallpox virus, one of the deadliest pathogens on the planet. For centuries, it did a wonderful job of helping keep the human population in check. But times change, and 
sometimes Mother Nature needs a hand in improving her creations. Like, say, speeding them up a little bit, making them contagious when they should be quietly incubating in a host, or making them more lethal. I didn't come up with the approach on my own. My friend Vitaly is one of the pioneers in the field, and the idea has been around for years. Genome as data. You see, once we digitized DNA, we made it infinitely mutable. We could do a thousand virtual variations in the time it used to take to grow a one lab grade generation of pathogens. And we could pick the best, most lethal combinations and make them real. That's how you make a killer virus, you see. Mix in genetic code from other diseases and you move the sliders all the way up on lethality and virulence. The goal was a 90% mortality rate. I'm not sure my green poison is gonna quite hit that, but honestly, that's just details. As long as most of humanity goes, the Earth stands a fighting chance. Technically, technology is what's killing the planet. But that's not really the case. It's the greed that drives the technology. But a funny thing happened on the way to $100 genome maps and 3D printed plastic toys. Someone figured out those technologies could be repurposed, modified for the greater good. Me. Now, my virus is gonna do what nature's always done. Decide who lives and who dies. And if nature decides I die, then I die. If nothing else, I'll have a lot of company. Natural selection at its finest. Helped along by a little unnatural genetic manipulation. It's all data, really. Life's just a method of processing it. The same way I processed the smallpox genome on my laptop. And who's to say that wasn't the plan all along? If, by some miracle, you survive green poison, then nature's decided you deserve to live. The rest of us shouldn't and won't. Godspeed. I'll see you in hell. Whoa. Imagine that if that happens in real life, I play. Oof. All the things happening. Anyway, 63 out of 63 echo. West entirely clear now. We are missing one agent, two drones, one incident report seven phone recordings and two survival guys which are most likely part of midtown east because everything else is 100 percent as well so yeah 13 things to do i was too close to reality if not happening as we speak, which is a scary thought. Um, so we need to clear this up in order to get the old color pickles revealed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut this video here and we're gonna resume with yeah, encounters or side missions at level 30 so blah, yeah okay um, thanks for watching and I hope you see you in the next one this is Max or this is our let's play of the division don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also follow me on twitter so up to the next one cheers now